let's get to it in grand final, shall we? How's the match between Jeff Beard and Elise so far, tournament-wise? Oh, you want the, the math of statistics? It, the, yeah, the match statistics. How are they? Okay. Um... Jeff Beard has fought Elise once and lost. In PCML. All the tournaments they share, which is every tournament that Elise has been in, she has outplaced Jeff. So we can expect... We can expect Elise to probably take home the tournament, honestly. Jeff Beard with the Dark Queen. Very nice. Not gonna lie, I I'm not the big fan of uh, Elisa's team, but not bad. But he has a lot of ground weaknesses. Which unironically, Jeff Beard has no ground pieces except the pawn. I'll be back. Guys, question. Would you want to see me record videos on how to cook a meal like a college student who doesn't know how to cook? That'd be a bang and that's um series not gonna lie it would be real it would be an amazing series top 10 series on youtube honestly i mean you can't cook if you don't have a kitchen there's a kitchen in the <laughs> hall that i'm in <laughs> And then uh, the sanita if the fridge is also not functional, then you don't have good places to store the stuff you need to cook. I built a functional fridge right behind me, fucker. <laughs> yeah, that then it's fine. And then um, let's see here. I bought I, I got a microwave in here. Exploiting the electric bishop being pretty useless. And I mean, also, he gets a steel rook if the bishop moves. Yeah. There's only so few moves. Yeah. Oh, Jeff Beard. Oh, Jeff Beard with an RNG chance of taking the rock knight, the critting. Or at least missing. No, Jeff Beard not going for the RNG. That's very neutral. <laughs> I guess he got scared somehow.
Oh, I guess fire is resisted by rock, so I understand. The tough spot to be in for Jeff Beard already. He has to stop the threats of the check and losing the fire bishop. So there's only like one or two moves here. None of them looks good. So yes, there's only three moves at most. That's not bad. Yeah, that's the next one. And stopping the fork fret. And then Lily is stopping the pin. Alright, Psychic Pawn moves up, what does the least do about it? It's not easy, but it's trying to develop pieces. Dude, what is this? What do we have here? Elise is actually on the defensive right now. is not very usual but the dark queen is putting massive amount of pressure No, four. Jeff Beard just blunders the poison pawn for the RNG chance on the crit. This is very daring of him. Will he at least actually take the pawn though? Or does. She doesn't really have, have a reason not to though, does she? Stop it first stopping the flying knight from attacking the grass pawn because that was more dangerous. And and don't forget the queen with that as well. Yeah. Pretty nasty. Luckily the dark pawn is immune to psychic, so if he's not in a rush to recapture the psychic pawn just yet. Tough spot for at least to be in. The ground queen is putting pressure on the psychic pawn on the distance. Potentially. If it gets that lineup with poison into electric into seal, I mean that's the game. There's there's it, there's also the fact that if Jeff Beard gets the ground pawn forward to attack the electric knight and the ground queen, that would be the game too. Practically, it's a tough spot to be in. Nope, it's trying to put pressure on the poison electric and steel. Very nice. You can't There's move. There's no the way for Jeff Beard. back. So yeah, it's friendly. I, I think the already. only thing he has to do is put is block with the is block with Corviknight and just have to be have your opponent defend the checkmate for you for a couple of turns. Yeah. It's also risking RNG though, Flying Knight can take Grass, maybe. 
Nope. Elise does not miss. He does the opposite of miss. He crits him. <laughs> Can't he say it's still in easy move. position, though. Can't say it's still easy. Because it but isn't. She doesn't have a good way to line that up. But now Jeff Beard is... I, 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 the actual threat is to hit the Psychic Pawn with the Dark Queen and win the Rook, which at least spots it and defends. Wait, and luckily the Rock Knight takes just in time to defend. The Brit? Yeah. Now they're now both Jeff. down a Queen, but just down one yeah. Knight. I've spot the Ian. I mean, you could. Uh, oh, I was gonna Going say, might for as well just like take that. At least will not risk the RNG when she doesn't have to. No, I was gonna. I was talking about Jeff just taking Bulbasaur. Yeah, that that would have been a good moment too to take it and maybe crit. Just take some more pieces out. I'd say that the Elise have the significantly better end game here because Jeff Beard has a fighting rook. <laughs> Elise has a ghost king. So that fighting rook would be pretty useless. Except by hitting the rock knight or the steel rook. <coughs> okay, that's an interesting fork because both of the takes that this would Terrapion has or would kill it in the process. I'm not sure what Terrakion is doing all the way there actually. It looks like a useless move to me. Not gonna lie. Don't question don't question one of the two players that are higher on No, I on no, I can't I can't question it because it is not doing anything there. <laughs> I can also because question it because I I mean we can question it because it's kind of our well, job. <laughs> to question Going for the useless RNG. What? Jeff Beard could have just hit the Rock Knight. What's wrong? Why, why he went all the way down there, Jeff? What the hell, man? He could have just hit the Rock Knight and the Rock Knight had, had to go back and waste time. I mean, this is also Somehow, wasting time. But now he he's not Jeff is just not wasting time, he's just sending it. <laughs> this is how we should say it. Man. Wait. Oh at <laughs> 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 <Bruh>. least what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Game one game one goes to Jeff. <laughs> Not even sure if Jeff Beard is hacking or not. Did he even miss once? Oh wait, yeah he did. Yeah, you, but, you like, literally just did. <laughs> he did, but like <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> Like, in the other games, I don't remember him missing once. Well, this is highly unfortunate. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Uh, Jeff Beard's already checkmated. That's just him being bad. Uh, no, this is an unfortunate matchup. <laughs> it's, it's, no, he had ways to defend it. He just, he just blundered it. Not the matchup issue. It's a skill issue. I think you just leave it there to maximize your RNG. Yeah. And you and if, if I was Jeff Beard here, I will try to make sure that the RNG maximization works, but just push it just like I don't know. Okay, that's a uh... Yeah, um that's sadly that's at least Just go for it though. <laughs> no, you better. I mean, it's, it's hard to get a better opportunity than this. Well, I guess, yeah. I mean, still, what does he do? He still doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it's because Jeff Beard didn't defend properly. He he could have given himself an escape square for the king, but no, his king is still trapped. 
just Jeff Beard not defending properly. Oh my god, if she misses again, he just gets to hit back. Yeah, but then she gets to hit again, so... No, Jeff Beard is maximizing the RNG in the other direction. Jeff Beard wins if, she, if Elise misses this. How did this go from Elise's no, it, guaranteed it, win to a 50-50? Uh, the thing is that Elise can avoid the RNG by pushing the water palm just right there. Yeah. You see? Our, Elise does not From have to accept Selby the 50 can just 50. be pushing, like, what? Push in front. Because now the fire bishop's hitting the grass bishop. Oh my god. And she doesn't have to accept the RNG again. She's just completely winning. And she then she's the gonna take that shop. and then move. Yeah. Jeff Beer's just blundering stuffs here. Hoping the RNG works, but there's nothing here. Well, move, move, Badoof, man. Bidoof has to... Yeah, you have to move Bidoof to get an escape square for the king, hopefully, but... <laughs> I don't think she misses this whole sequence twice. Yeah. Yeah, alright, alright, game three, game that three. Was... That was a blunder right off the opening. Game three. Alright, let's get it. So, yeah, Jeff um, Beard. he did not have any openings for a ground queen this time. I don't think she needs any opening for ground queen, actually. Because both of Jeff Beard's bishops cannot hit- are weak to the ground queen. Yeah. So he does have some thing. And any opening that Elise have for Dark Queen is only the Psychic Pot, which doesn't do too much. I mean, it can work on that back line. But, yeah. Uh, Elise stopping the Jeff Beard RNG. <laughs> Preemptively stopping the Bishop from attacking critting. <laughs> That's what happens when you're... You're really scared of the Jeff Beard Lux. Walking the attack on the psychic pod very nice. That's just yeah, temporary even though. The other one, so she can't, so you can't like move down diagonal one mm -hmm. to start going over that way. Still a hard position, but. Watch him double crit here. Not gonna lie, um, doesn't need the crit. Just a single crit would have been enough. No, watch him double crit for the win, though. Nah, I mean, he's not gonna do that, because that just blunders the flying knight. He's not dumb. <laughs> but at least have a lot of stuff going. Wait, what? Still went for it. What? Does does Jeff Beard not realize he just blundered the flying knight? Oh, I guess it's not the face. blunder okay. because it's not the blunder, but like it's not great. It, but since it's always a blunder because it's just terrible, <laughs> but. Wait, at least oh the electric knight just defends the steel rook. Very nice. All of a sudden it doesn't matter if Jeff Beard can hit the psychic pawn. So and the dark pawn's just defending the dark queen from I mean defending the ghost king from the dark queen, just barely. As a fairy pawn too, as extra wall, I guess the dark queen. So at least could have plans of casting king's side for sure. Still a funny looking moment here. 
if I was Jeff Beard, I would really want a castle here. Castle King side, not Queen side. The electric bishop's gonna be exploited by the ground queen. Like in the first game. It's a really tough position. Because Elise can already threaten the fork on C2 down the line. What the hell is that move? Oh, Jeff B is thinking of opening up the attacking F7, threatening the dark pawn here with the fire bishop, which Elise defends it. Very nice. Because you don't want to lose a dark pawn. Once the dark pawn is gone, maybe the dark queen will come in and make havoc. A Jeff Beard going for the RNG. It doesn't quite work because the ground queen can or anything can take the fire. What do you mean it bishop. doesn't quite work? It, it never <laughs> except say for it RNG. Work until except it... for the RNG, of course, but it works because RNG. <laughs> ne never say a play does. Uh, never say an RNG play doesn't work until the R until the thing. No, but I always taken. say it doesn't work except for RNG. But no, I always say at the very end. Say. Just straight up never say, but it doesn't work. You manifested that miss. Commentator's curse. But I did say I did state it because unless RNG right at the end and he just missed right after that, so you know. RNG is the last thing we should take into concern usually. <laughs> now here's the thing. Elise definitely wants to get rid of the Dark Queen now. Because now that Dark Queen's gonna be super annoying. And there's a couple of ways for her to get rid of it, depending on what Jeff Beard plays. But we will see what he does. What does Jeff Beard have in mind? His Ice Knight is not very effective, it's not doing much, and the Fighting Rook is not doing much either. Jeff Beard has to win the early game somehow to make a comeback. No! That Dark Queen move is threatening the checkmate. But it's not actually threatening the checkmate, is it? Because Elise can now threaten the checkmate herself. And all of a sudden, there's so much RNG. Hmm. It's a tough oh, spot to be in. Triple. Oh! Elise just defending first with the fighting bishop instead of doing anything else. I guess it's not bad of a move, actually. Oh, goodbye, triple. But then I, I feel like Elise missed a little bit of opportunities here to equalize the game. It just it's just my feels. But the game is Jeff Beard going full RNG. But this time Elise just misses checkmate with the ground queen. Jeff Beard really was risking his king on that move just to hope to get Elise's king, but this is, no, it's this not is, paying this off. Is, this is a certified Jeff Beard brat. This is a certified Jeff Beard set. Yeah, but... <laughs> hmm. Now Elise is definitely winning right here, positionally. Question is, Jeff just go for it again, and does he actually move the rook out of the way? Good question. Because you know, honestly, honestly, I don't know what I'd be doing in this scenario. Because sometimes yeah, why, I'm just like, you know, oh, just going for it, going for it. Wait, now the question is, what does does it? I think the best move here for Elise is definitely to save the king or something. But I think she's deciding whether or not to win Jeff Beard's king or to take Jeff Beard's dark queen and Jeff. <laughs> Jeff just RNGs it. Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> There's no way. No. 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 